Alright everybody, welcome back. This is the second part of the six part tutorial. So this time I'm going to be talking about the parameters which are down here. So as you can see, there are all these and they go in order of velocity, dynamics, breathiness, brightness, clearness, opening, gender factor, portamento timing, cross synthesis, growl, which was actually new to the Vocaloid 4 software, pitch bend, and pitch bend sensitivity. Alright, so let's start with dynamics. Now, dynamics is how loud the Vocaloid is. So, let's play this normally. Alright. Uh, so, I'm going to bring this up to 96. Now oh, let's listen to it. See how it's louder? Now if I just bring it down like this. See? Alright. So let's reset that. Now, oh, another tool I wanted to show you uh, before we continue is the line tool. So, notice how when I'm using the pencil tool, it's hard for me to draw a straight line? Well, that's exactly what the line tool is for. You can just simply do that, and it's consistent and straight. Alright, just to show you that. Alright, so the next one I want to show you is velocity. So, velocity is how the note is hit relative to the one behind it. So, let's take this one here, and let's make this, uh, za. Okay, so let's bring that down to 19. Did you notice that little pause before it said za? Well, the lower you go, the longer, the greater that pause is. And if you bring it all the way up. It hits exactly there. This space here is used fully for the note. Alright, so that's velocity. If that makes sense, I do hope that was a good explanation. Alright, let's reset this back to normal. Alright, so let's go to breathiness. Now breathiness, that's pretty straightforward. How breathy the note sounds. So, it sounds normal now, but if I take this and bring it up here, and then like that. It can help, but if used too much, it just it doesn't sound very good, so be careful when using that. You only use it in the appropriate times. Alright, so, well, I guess I can be for all the parameters. So, brightness. Brightness is, well, how bright the note sounds, so... Alright, if I bring that up... It's a little hard to explain when just normally like this, but one thing that brightness can help with a lot is Fort Sondos, which is, uh, so it kind of, if you bring it down, it impacts the dynamic impact of the note, but the intensity of the note stays the same. So let's take this and bring it down to here. Also, another thing, if you want to switch singers, I'm using VY1 right now, and if you want to switch singers, you just simply go here, and then you can select what singer you want. Alright, I'm going to use Gokpoid because he is my favorite Vocaloid out of all of them. It sounds a little weird, sorry about that. So, let's, uh, let's make this sound a little bit better. So, uh, so let's go to G sharp. Uh, alright. Actually, so I, what I want to do is take this. And something that helps is if you 
uh, makes the transition smoother is if you start at the bottom, make this short here, and then go up right here. And you can uh, leave this as like ah, or you can do a slash, and it it the slash just helps with continuation of the note. It makes it a little more um how do I explain it? A little more nasally, I, I suppose. Let's listen. So you see how it kind of went ah, before it went to the ah. So, what I'd like to do is uh, take this part right here. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to open up something quickly. Let me show you what brightness does. All right. This was my second cover that I did, Eternal Snow. So look at the brightness here. I'm going to, okay, so uh, forget what I'm about to do here, just uh, don't pay any attention to it for now. All right, so right here, the brightness, uh, it, hel it softens the dynamic impact, but keeps the intensity of the note. So listen to this. So, especially at that part, that last part, so it starts off kind of soft, and then, like, it gets louder. It's, it gives it a more realistic feel to the dynamic of the voice. Alright, so let me just start a new one. I'm going to save that, what I just did there. Alright, and let's go back to Gokpoid. So let's continue. Kiza. Kiza. Okay. Uh, now, the next one is clearness. So clearness can actually uh, help uh, make the vocaloids sound a bit more mature, uh, but using it too much can make it sound a bit muffled, which is a little ironic, I must admit. So I usually set it to 48, that's the kind of appropriate setting for me. So first let's listen to it without it. Now let's put it at 48. It makes it a little more clearer, but if you use it too much, it just sounds... Yeah, yeah. So, be careful, uh, like before. Alright, so the opening parameter right here, that's how open the vowel sounds. So, when using this, uh, so... Like, it's very open, but if I bring that all the way down... So it's more like a closed sound, like his mouth is just barely open. It's Kiza, if that makes sense. All right, so there's that parameter. Now let's go on to a pretty cool one that I do enjoy, uh, the gender factor. Gender factor also plays a role in making the your vocaloid sound a little more uh, mature. Like um, with Gokpoid, I like making his voice uh, sound kind of deep and masculine and that's I use gender factor and uh, clearness for that so if I bring it up to 86 Kiza. do you hear that? the difference? Kiza. yeah it's uh, it, if you use it too much it, if you bring it way too much it just sounds weird yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> and if you bring it too low... Yeah, also, pretty, pretty drastic. Alright, so the next uh, parameter is portamento timing. So portamento timing. This is how soon or late the pitch changes relative to the note behind it. So the, up here is this little icon, and when you see that, it's the pitch renderer. You see where the pitch starts to change. So if I take that 
and I bring this all the way up here and I click on this icon again look at where the pitch changes Kiza. see it was Kiza instead of Kiza but if I bring it all the way Kiza. down like that look at how soon it changes it doesn't change here it soon as changes here Kiza. Kiza. so that's used for Kiza. when you want the where and when you want the pitch to change alright so that's the portamento timing now cross synthesis okay so right now I'm just using Gokpoid's one voice one of his voices so let's do a cross synthesis of his native and power voice so you see up here now his power voice so if I bring this all the way up uh, oh my goodness I'm really bad at this so listen to his power voice just purely Kiza. it's a lot more crisp and it's a lot more the enunciation is very much it's harder pronunciation so this can be used if you, if you kind of want something in between go like this and then Kiza. it might be a little easier if I try with his whisper voice so let's put let's try power of whisper so his pure whisper voice if I can do it correctly Kiza. so if I then take that and then put it at 64 Come on. All right. Kiza. It's sort of in between, if that makes sense. All right, so that can be used to create a little bit different voice. And you can edit it at certain parts of the song to make it a little more realistic. So now the next one. This is Growl. This was the newest uh, parameter added to the Vocaloid software back in 2014 uh... Mm, nope don't say ah uh. <laughs> alright so let's put this note so Kiza, Kiza. so shorten this note so let's go like this also, I do apologize, I have a little bit of a cold, so if my singing isn't on point, that's probably why. Alright, so, normally. Alright, so, oh, I'm going to uh, quickly go, go to uh, cross synthesis, and I'm going to bring this uh, down normally. And I'm going to change his voice just to native back, native again. All right, so go back to growl. So, Kiza. all right. So let's say I want to make his voice a little more gravelly, like uh, on za. Keys. I can't do it very well. So I can. It's it's a little uh, better if you start. You don't start exactly where the uh, next note is. You just kind of you kind of glide into it, if that makes sense. And then you go down. So let's listen to that. Now it can definitely help with the power if you then go back. Let's go back to dynamics quickly, just for a second, and then take this. Bring this up a little bit, just a little bit. That even that's a little bit much. Let's go like that. Take go to brightness here. Bring that up to make the intensity the same, even a little greater. Let's go to gender factor to make that a little better. So let's first put it at 86 to make it mature and then even a little more for that one part maybe a little farther like that alright and then you go to clearness and I, I kept that at 48 
So that's all good. Let's go back to uh, let's just go back to dynamics. So listen to this. If, if that makes sense, I it's kind of short. Let me. Okay, so if right here is you can change the tempo. Right there, it's at 120, which is the standard tempo. You can go down to let's go to 90. All right, and let's see. Tempo is 20 to 300. That's the range where the tempo can be set at. You know. I'm not very good at using Raw, but if you if used correctly, it can sound very powerful and very nice. All right. Now let's go to pitch bend. Pitch bend. It's it's pretty. You know. Okay. It's pretty standard what pitch bend would do. Bring this up and then down and up and down and up and down and up. I'm getting lost there. All right. Listen to this. All right. So you can you press on the icon again and you see how the pitch changes here. Well, yeah. Now let's go to our final parameter, pitch bend sensitivity. So it's at two, and even at two, it does all this. So let's bring this up to twelve. The sensitivity. So now let's click on this again. Look at how much more drastic that is. Now let's listen to it. Yeah. Um. Personally, I prefer uh, note bending, which is well, what I did here. So I started at C, and then I brought it up here. Uh, it just it sounds better to me, just a little bit. If I go like that, like that. See, I I just prefer it more. Oh, sorry. I prefer it more personally than pitch bending. It just it's a you have to be a lot more accurate with pitch bending. Or no, uh, yeah, pitch bending. So those are the parameters, and in the next part, I'm probably going to be talking about uh, tracks. Yeah, I'm going to be doing tracks next. All right, see you next time.